The chair is a piece I call uh, Chair in the Hall, and it was to uh, bring light to, to loneliness, to mental illness, to isolation, and to people feeling the need to protect their space, whether it be their private space or their, their privacy in terms of who they are and uh, willing to, being willing or not to, to declare everything about who they are. I think often we're uh, determined, or our personalities are determined by people's perception of us, and some people choose to uh, define that for themselves. So that chair or that image, for me, is symbolic of uh, making your own decisions. It's of uh, loneliness, whether it be imposed or, or uh, a personal option and also mental illness, which we often don't address, and, uh, and therefore it doesn't exist. It's not uh, um, challenged, it's not explored, it's not investigated, it's not researched. It was the long, lonely hallway that did it for me, and uh, the f mere fact that light only continues from the chair itself. So the ceiling lights are not visible in front of the chair. So sometimes your light or your saving grace might be what's behind you that you can't see or access. Um, what I found interesting about that particular chair is that it is very um, reminiscent of the traditional West Indian architectural and uh, furniture design uh, format. So it's uh, it reminds me of my childhood, of. Uh, uh, carved wooden banisters and, and uh, railings and verandas and, and oftentimes are living in dining room chairs.